I want to come on the Dr. Phil show to clear my name. I loved Malcolm and had every intention to spend the rest of my life with him. He got me a ring for my birthday and gave all these reasons why he loved me. I did not kill him. The night Malcolm passed away, I had been trying to get a hold of him for a couple hours. Finally, I heard him coming up the stairs and came out and came down the hall and stopped at the top of the flight. He was on the flight between the second and the third story. I was angry, I will admit that, and I was yelling. I said, where have you been? What have you been doing? Um, he didn't have even time to respond to me. He stepped down to the next step and just lost it and went top heavy over the side. There were a good four or five steps between us. It wasn't even like I was close enough to grab him. I watched him fall all the way till he hit the ground. I could tell that his head smacked really hard. I ran down the stairs screaming. Malcolm was rushed to the hospital and they later said that he had severe head trauma. I was at the hospital for four days straight. I couldn't bring myself to leave. We were very much in love. Um, he was my best friend. While we were in the hospital, Stephanie and his family were very understanding. After Malcolm passed, Stephanie did a complete 180. Stephanie never even contacted me. I found out through a friend. I knew nothing, and no one would tell me anything. Stephanie is wrong. I never pushed Malcolm. I was in no way responsible for his death. <laughs>